All right, so here it is all built up and uh, comes in at 500 or five, yeah, 527 grams, 527.5 grams. It's a little on the porky side, but for a freestyle frame, I did add a little bit of weight on um, quite a bit of the components here. I think with a four and one, in fact, I know with a four and one and um, a lighter battery, you're going to shave quite a bit of weight off of this. But for a freestyle frame and the batteries that I currently have, I, I, I'm not complaining at all. I think this thing is going to be tough as nails. I really do. I think it's going to take a lot of abuse. So I'm overall, I'm, I'm happy. It, it was a very tight build. Um, but I think, I'm hoping it will be well worth it. So that's what it looks like all done. Um, I'll leave all the, the prices of the parts that I use in this. I'll leave that in the description below so you can check on current prices. I checked on the ESCs today from Banggood. It's the 25th of, of October and they were 8 bucks or like $8 in some sense. So it seems like all the pricing is pretty current still. Um, so, yeah. So there you go. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, don't be shy. Just leave them in the section, you know, leave them in the section below. Um, and please subscribe. I mean, that, that definitely gives me more incentive to want to build more stuff. I have two more builds coming up and possibly a third. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Okay, so we're at the flight videos now. So this is my friend Tim, uh, Shreddy Bear. He's trying to follow me through the park. As you can see, it's really dark. Um, we were having kind of a hard day flying um, because it was so windy. So by the time the wind died down, um, it was starting to get dark. So he's trying to circle around me, trying to fly and see in the dark at the same time. The uh, I, w I will say that this build is... Uh, very docile, um, very predictable. It's it's not like anything I have or ha ever have flown. It's kind of a good around all around combination. It's got plenty of punch out, plenty of speed, um, but it's it, it's extremely docile and very predictable, very forgiving. Um, I did try out stabilize mode. I tried out horizontal mode for maybe new people that are not used to um, acro or or flying with air mode. No, nope, there goes Tim. He sacrificed a quadcopter for me. But um, yeah, I, I tried out those other modes and it, it, it just sits in the air. I mean, I, I really think that I could teach my wife on how to fly quadcopters with this one. I, I truly believe that. That's not an embellishment. That's true. It's... And, and the thing is, I even I haven't even had time to tune it. I mean, this is just the stock beta flight tune. That's it. So I didn't have a chance to play around with the dynamic filtering or turn off any of the notch filtering or turn on the anti-gravity. Um, nothing. So this is just straight out whatever beta flight had. And, um, you know, it, it actually flies pretty good. On this day right here, you're watching. Um, it's it was raining all day long. I just got off of work. I run. I went running out to the park, waited for the rain to kind of die down. But it's actually still raining as I'm flying here, and it's starting to get dark. Um, the reason I I try to get out there is because um, it was going to snow the next day. In fact, it snowed later on t that night, about uh, four inches. So I knew if I didn't get a flight video in. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to get one in until maybe February. So that's why I'm kind of just taking it easy. I'm not zooming around the trees too much. I'm just kind of floating around, just seeing what it does, kind of show you how it flies a little bit. You'll notice the props are in the in the way of the camera. And yeah, it's kind of it's kind of noticeable when you look when you watch it back, but when you're flying, you actually get used to it where you don't even notice them. I'm thinking about it, actually what I'm going to do is get rid of the black and red um, props and get some clear ones. And then you 
you know, I wouldn't notice it at all. The cross hatching in the video and why the video kind of looks rough is because the DVR is actually set up in PAL mode. Um, I, when I was doing the review on the um, HGLRC ELF camera, I didn't realize it was a PAL camera. And um, so I was getting all kinds of crazy cross hatching and stuff like that. And then I put that same camera in my Atom V2 build, the poor man's Atom V2, using the HDLRC Zeus. And um, so to do some flight video on that, I actually changed the DV over, DVR over to PAL, and then I forgot to turn it back for this video. So that's why that video doesn't look like it should. Um, so, but as you can see here, I mean, it just it just flies very very nice. I mean, it's so easy. It's I, I've never had I I never had a quadcopter fly like this, and and I'm wondering if it has something to do with these props because these are these are the new HQ. Um, these are five inch by four point eight on the pitch by three, and they're super efficient. Um, they're not it's the the copter is not floaty but it's not it doesn't feel heavy so and i am running a 4s um high volt so i'm running that hyperion high volt pack in this and as you can see as the video goes on i'm going to get about about seven minutes of flight time out of this and that's you know putting around but also some punch outs and stuff so it's pretty impressive um i think a lot of it has to deal with these props um I don't know, but it, it definitely doesn't. It definitely does not fly like anything I've ever had. Nothing, and it's. I cannot wait to be able to fly this more and really get a decent tune on it. I think this is going to really produce some nice videos. So, and you know this this run cam does such a good job on bringing in the light because. The naked eye, it's actually pretty dark out when I'm doing this. So, The other thing I like about this frame, too, is I think it's going to take one hell of a beating. Um, the, when Tim and I were out there, I actually wrecked it a couple, a couple of different times in the trees and branches and stuff. And um, didn't even bend up one of these props. That's another th neat thing about these uh, HQ props is they're really, really tough. Um, I took the thing right into it, that tree right there, a little underneath of that tree, and just right into the tree. So I, I don't know how many branches I hit going through the tree, but I almost made it through it. Um, and then I bounced off the ground the whole nine yards, and it didn't do anything. This this frame is very, very tough. It's 4 millimeter carbon, and it's really good carbon, actually. Um, and then, of course, the, the big, thick metal uprights. So... I don't suspect I'm going to be really breaking this frame anytime soon. I'll probably have this one for a while. I'm trying to avoid that branch right there. We just went by on the left-hand side. And I'm trying to avoid the branches right behind me right there. And I really cannot... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. The video looks a lot lighter than it actually did in my helmet. So maybe I need to turn up the brightness and contrast in my helmet. I don't know. So I'm just trying to dodge things that I really can't see. But I'm just, I, I think, you know, I, I do recommend this build. I really do. I, I recommend it using these props. Um, if you're a new person... You're, you're going to really enjoy this quadcopter. I mean, you're getting, you know, seven-minute flight times using those Hyperion high-volt batteries, 4S high-volt batteries. That's a lot of flight time. And it's tough as nails. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you'd really, really enjoy it if you're, if you're getting into the hobby. If you've been in the hobby for a while, I still think you would enjoy it. You know, guys do race this frame. Um, there's quite a few guys out there that are actually racing this frame right now so it can take punishment so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I wish I had more flight video a more exciting video to give you but I don't um, unfortunately it's just a weather thing 
and it doesn't look like I'm going to have any real decent weather for, I don't know, probably until February, I guess. That's why I'm building a snow quad. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, please give me a thumbs up and, and please subscribe. I mean, it really helps me out. It helps me out with these manufacturers to kind of give me a little bit of a discount. Right now, I'm paying for these builds myself. So, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and have yourself a great day.